before I get started, I just want to say thank you guys to all my seven subscribers. Thank you guys. You guys are the best. Even though I only got seven, it's better than nothing. <laughs> anyway, I just want to say thank you. And we're going to make this channel bigger. And just keep supporting your boy. It's your boy. I have to work on my intro. My intro sucks. So, anyway, just a quick video, little update on the 240. Here she is. Let me sh let me show you guys what the M engine bay looks like cuz some of you haven't seen it yet. So, yup. Yup. Don't mind that license plate. It does the job, so so it's the RB25, it's blue engine bay, got hella horns too. Obviously pop-ups. Anyway, so just a little update. Um, I haven't driven this car for like two weeks now. I'm running into this issue where the car would just randomly misfire. And when I'm talking about misfire, it literally would just run in like six or five cylinders or maybe four cylinders, so um, it's intermittent, so I don't really care about it sometimes, but it got to a point where I can really move or like pass 60 miles an hour in the freeway. So it's it sucks, so I went into forums and look up what's going on, and people saying check your check your boost, check your fuel pressure, and I check all of it, and it's normal. So my fuel pressure is normal, my boost, boost leak, I don't have any boost leak, so. And then I seen a guy that said on the forum that once you check your CAS. So RB25, or RB, RBG in general, pretty much all the RBs got a cam angle sensor so correct me if I'm wrong but what the cam angle sensor does is it fires the um, spark plugs depending on the um, angle of your camshaft so they said that it might be going bad that's why I'm having like random ignition cut or misfire. I mean, I have brand new spark plugs and call packs. So what are the chances? So anyway, I bought a new cam angle sensor just for the heck of it. Uh, by the way, I'll put nissanparts.cc for any 240 owners or just Nissan owners in general because they have all pretty much most of the OEM parts that you need and they ship hella fast too. So I'll put down the link in the description below. Um, they're a pretty good online shop. They're based in somewhere in Washington. But yeah, that's where I got my new, brand new, okay? Brand new in the States, RB25 cam angle sensor. So anyway, I got a brand, I got a brand new one. Right, and a couple days ago, I was about to install it because I'm tired of it running weird. So I pulled out the old one, and right when I pulled out the old one, this piece came with it. Let's see, it's right this piece, okay? That piece. So I was like, wait a minute. This shouldn't come off. And then I look on the camshaft. So let me show you guys. So this is a new camshaft, by the way. So this is a exhaust camshaft. And then if you see, there's a key inside. Okay. And then if you look inside this cam angle sensor, it all also has a half key basically 
So basically they're called half moon key on a lock there, basically. Right? See? If I turn, only the cast turn, and when you turn the cam, you know, obviously thing is gonna turn. So that thing broke. Obviously I can't put it back together because so basically that's a uh, um, alignment tool for your firing order. So if you don't put it right, obviously your car is not gonna run right. So it took me like at least an hour trying to make sure that it's on there right. Right now the key's not there obviously. Um, I just put it on just to make sure it will run so I can move the car. So the car is obviously drivable just around my area but I can't really drive it far so that's that um, what I'm gonna do is I might end up switching the camshaft next week too so I'm um, probably on the next couple of videos we're gonna do a, a exhaust camshaft replacement on RB25 um, you know obviously I'm gonna vlog it um, but yeah that's about it also waiting for my a five lug i think i'm gonna order that soon um it's I've been dying to like ins install or make this car look nice i mean if you look at the outside the car is literally like the ugliest 240 ever like the original paint is faded af so you know that's that um hopefully next week i could install my my coilovers um i have a fortune auto um it's built, custom built, Fortune Auto. And I also have my wheels. If you guys, I'm not gonna show you guys, but I got a set of, set of wheels there. So when I install the file lug, obviously I'm gonna put it on. So, so yeah, there's that. And the Fozzy, you know, front end still looking ugly. So yeah. That's that. Just a quick video, just a little update, and you know, I hope you guys like it. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. You know, seven subscribers. So just, just, keep, just keep it up. Keep it up. Just, we're gonna make this channel bigger, and with you guys supporting me, it'd be a lot of help. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to click the thumbs up, subscribe comment down below if you guys don't like this put a dislike i don't care but you know that's it see you on the next one peace out <laughs>